Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Live. This is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. Thought I'd do a little update here on JCP. JCP gapped up today. I forget the reason why or what it did or what was the situation, but I did talk about this in the live trading room this morning. I said, don't buy it. Some people were wanting to buy it. I said, it is not a buy. Lo and behold, it's closing here right in the day. Beautiful daily buy set up failure today on JCP. Gap up failure today on JCP. If you had bought this early in the morning, you could have made money going long, but that wasn't the right direction to play it. The move is to the downside. That was really how you could have gotten paid in this, although it really set up kind of like a piece of crap today all around. Um, you would have had to know to go after this as a short. You would have had to have conviction to do it and, and to do the trade. Actually, I don't even like the way this opened here this morning. It, it's a short. I mean, let's look at it. Basically, pennies is short for the rest of its life until otherwise noted. Uh, let me just see here. And I, I know people are in this long. It's just so hilarious. Mm. Nope. So this came in hard in the morning. This came in hard in the morning. I, I really wouldn't have called it a reverse swoosh, but you almost could have. In any event, I would never buy this chart anyways. If you bought this here, you could have made money very quickly. If you got out of it quickly, you could have made like 30 cents, but it was a bad buy because the chart's in a downtrend. And the gap up today was not a good gap to buy. Let's just look at the JCP. So I know that people love to do these things. Again, it's one of these things where you have people on the one side and you see the people and I see what people are doing. I know what people are doing. I know what they're thinking. Who are the people? I mean traders. I know what they're thinking when they see stuff. Like a gap up and JCP over the resistance on the 50, doing the bottoming tail with a nice green head, then this large, fat green bar here. Look at the volume in this. It's a real bar here of almost a buck, and it has huge volume, and it sat back down here, double bottom here, retested the 50, over the 8, over the 20. It's holding. I see what people are thinking. I see the gap down failure here in this because it did gap down, gap down from the day before. I see what people are thinking. I see these people. Then in the middle, I have the price, that the charts. They're completely neutral. They're just doing their thing. They're trading. I'm reading the numbers. Then on the other side, on the left, I have the institutions, and I'm reading them. And I read them when I read my analysis in my gap rating system. Okay, that tells me what's really happening in the overall trend of the chart. I see traders who are trying to do things, and I'm playing against them because I'm making money when they're when they are wrong. And then I read the price, which tells me what to do on any given day if I choose to trade something on any given day. Now, I did not trade JCP today. This hasn't been a play to do. But you actually could have shorted JCP today. And any time this sets up correctly as a short, you could do it. What would be a correct setup on this? Gaps. I only play bearish gaps. I don't play bullish gap up failures. But, but you could have today on this. I mean, you actually could have today on this because I knew it wasn't going to fall through. I knew it wasn't going to bullish gap. I knew it was something they shouldn't buy. In fact, I said to Diane in the room this morning, if you had a million dollars, if you had a million dollars right now today, an extra million cash, and I gave it to you, would you buy JCP? Would you do it? And she said no. She said no because they're closing stores. No is the right answer. I don't know if they're closing stores or not. Maybe they are. She must have read about it. But in any event, it's really not necessarily about the store closings. Even if they are closing stores, it's about the price and reading the price in JCP and seeing that this is still holding so weak, still in the downtrend of the gaps that happen here. It's actually had a bullish gap here and a bullish gap here and a gap down failure here and a bullish gap here. It's been gapping up a lot lately. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny it. Today was a gap up. I'm not going to tell you that this didn't hasn't been gapping up and up and up. It has. It has. It has been gapping up and it has rallied. And it's over the resistance. But the problem is that you cannot do every bullish gap just like you can't do every bearish gap. You can't short every gap down. You can't short every, uh, you can't buy every gap up. You have to read the chart and you have to determine how to do it correctly. And it's not just one thing. Whenever I talk to people, they always say, well, we did this. Yes. And it did this too. Okay. Training accurately means looking at all the things together. You take them all together and you add them all up, and that's what a system is. A system is you're taking all the things together, and it's giving you the confirmation. You take this thing, yes, this thing, yes, this thing, yes. It's not just one thing. It's not just two things. It's all the things. You take them all together and you lump them together, and that's what a system is. It tells you and it gives you all the confirmation. And in the case of bullish gaps, you're looking for confirmation of strength. And in the case of bearish gaps, you're looking for confirmation of weakness. Where do I get these confirmations? 
I get the confirmations from reading the price in the daily chart and my point system. My 26 point rating system tells me the confirmations. JC Penny's probably going to fall off the planet now tomorrow. I really think this racer once it starts getting under eight again. So, I mean, honestly, 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 under eight again is just going to fall off the planet right down here into seven. And then another area is going to be under seven again. So, you know, I don't really know how this is going to close here today. It's getting late. The market's almost done for the day here. But beautiful short in JCPenney if you decide to do it today. If you had the conviction that this was a bad bullish gap and you actually wanted to short the failure, I couldn't even deny you because the overall trend is to the downside. So even though I don't short bullish gap up failures, I'm okay with you doing it if you do it with the trend and the trend in JCP is down. So you could, you could just watch this every day to short. Just roll out of bed and watch this to short. <laughs> but basically, what a nice move in this here today if you played it correctly on the short side in JCP. It was not along. It wasn't along this morning, and I wouldn't have done it. And it, it almost could have been construed as a reverse swish there in the morning. I mean, I would have had to see how it acted, and I think the way that it traded, I would have had to see it live. And I actually think with that bottom tail thing and the way that it was live, I think the live trade would have told me, ah, off. And I think I wouldn't have done it because I wouldn't have ever wanted to buy this anyways. Not with this configuration here. And it just wouldn't have rated well. But JCP is a beautiful short, okay? And just doing an update here on JCP. Love JCP. So a lot of volume in this here today. Watch it to break again. Beautiful, beautiful short. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information on how to read charts, on how to read charts, on how to read gaps, and how to find the good ones. And it's not just one thing, and it's not just two things. It's many, 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 many things, okay? And you take them all together and you add them all up, and that's how you get the conviction, and that's how you do it, and that's how you risk your money to train, and how you risk it fearlessly with conviction because of all the pieces of the puzzle telling you, and that's what a system is. It all works together. It's, you're not looking through a narrow peephole. It's everything working together, and it gives you the body. It gives you the weight. It gives you the conviction to take the risk and do the trade. Email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com if you'd like more information. Have a great day, everybody.